You fire at me, I'll fire back. How's that? Alright, so I have another key. I can open another chest. And what's in it? More gold. Uh, more potions. Good! Good! Well, hey there, people. So today I am going down, down, down into the dungeon. I'm back here at the scene of the crime where I defeated Skeletron. And uh, I'm going down for loot and for glory. Um, first of all, though, I want to say a big thank you again. Um, I've just passed 120 subscribers. I've passed 25,000 views, and uh, back on the 28th of March, I hit $18.67 in theoretical money. That should mean something to uh, the Canadians in the crowd. Um, I say theoretical money because, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't actually pay you anything until you hit 100, but and even then, I've kind of pledged that first money uh, to some friends who helped me out with some of this stuff but um, as I say after that I'll be reinvesting it all in the channel anyway um, I just wanted to say thank you for each and every one of you welcome to uh, my latest subscribers and uh, well let's go down into the dungeon so now that I've defeated Skeletron I can head on down um, speaking of uh, things I should do I've brought along some shine potions so you can see where we're going oh, oh don't stand on the spikes first tip so I'm going to give you some information, some tips and tricks. Um, as you can see, the dungeon is a dangerous place. Spikes, spikes everywhere. Um, it has its own unique enemies. Uh, more are added later in the game as you progress. Um, particularly once you defeat uh, the Plantera boss in hard mode. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe that's not that effective against him. Oh, and you can see, I was going to tell you about these later, uh, there are biome chests, which are unlocked even later in the game. Yeah, so the dungeon is a dangerous place. I'm already in need of a uh, health potion. Um, these biome chests are, are much later in the game, actually, that you can actually open those. Um, but there are various types of chests. Um, there are dungeon chests, there are golden chests. The golden chests, you have to pick up uh, golden keys. Uh, from the enemies in the dungeon to be able to unlock those. Um, there are all kinds of special items, awesome loot that you can get. Uh, oh, and traps, of course. There's a dart trap up there. And actually, uh, speaking of which, something I want to tell you about as well. A little tip. Stop it, you guys. All right. A little tip is that actually you can hold a dart trap and it shows you where the wires are so look at that you can see where that's wired to there's a pressure plate over there uh, so actually I think I'm going to put that in one of my uh, quick slots so that I can oh and here's another one of the enemies most of the enemies are um, you know skull based or skeleton based um, it being a dungeon I guess oh here's another tip already as well uh, water candles candles um, you can use these, but uh, you'll also want to watch them when you're in the dungeon because the water candles actually increase the enemy spawn rate. So if there's a water candle nearby, it increases uh, the enemy spawn rate by a third. So be aware of that. Uh, let's throw a little uh, torch there for future reference. Oh, oh, big slime, big slime. Uh-oh. Okay, I wonder. That's a dungeon slime. The dungeon slimes are said to contain some of those golden keys we were just talking about. Oh, yeah, and there, sure enough. Sure enough, there it is. Uh, the dungeon slimes are, are apparently particularly likely to uh, contain the golden keys. So when you see one of those big old dungeon slimes, keep an eye out. Um, now, they do recommend that you wear um, either um, shadow armor or crimson armor or better. I'm going with my meteor armor just because I love the pew 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 of the gun here. Um, that can be very useful. I have unlimited ammo effectively. So you have to be very careful down here. Um, let's see, some of the other stuff I wanted to tell you. I made some notes. Oh, uh, well for one thing, again, uh, the water candles, you may not want to leave them there because they'll increase the spawn rate of enemies, unless you want to kill a lot of enemies and get lots of uh, drops from them, which is fine. Uh, but since this is my first time down here and my equipment's not that good for this, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the water candles when I, when I see them. I don't want to get hurt too bad. I 
As you can see, lots of enemies to be on the lookout for. Hence the need for the pew 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 gun. Oh, and these casters, you can see they throw uh, balls of magic at you, but a uh, little tip as well there, that any weapon can actually destroy that. So uh, when they fire one of those at you, you can then um, hit it with a sword, hit it with whatever, and that'll destroy it and save you uh, getting damaged a little bit. All right. Um... So one of the tricks that I pulled here was that I uh, took a little map, a little screenshot from the uh, Terra Firma uh, map editor, which I uh, showed you in another episode if you haven't watched that one already. Um, so I took a little screenshot of that so that I have a basic kind of map of where I'm going. Uh, not that I'm particularly uh, following it right now. I'm actually just wandering. I'm probably not going to have time um, to show you the entire dungeon. I'm, I'm just kind of wandering around it right now. Oh, that was a dark trap. Okay, watch the traps. Watch the traps. Um, yeah. I say watch the traps, and then I don't watch the traps. Alright, time for another shine potion. So, I'm going to want to... Do that. Oh, and here's another thing. Um, there is exactly one NPC in the dungeon. And that's uh, the mechanic here. Trisha, apparently, is the name of my mechanic. And uh, once you free her, not only will she, of course, attack uh, anybody who comes nearby with her wrench, but uh, oh, it's saying question mark. Hmm. That's interesting. I thought maybe that was a, a clue that uh, there might be another golden key in that particular bo or monster there. Okay, but I do have golden chests. There we go, dungeon heist. I use my golden key, I can unlock this particular chest. Oh, and I've got some gold in there. Got some glow sticks, which I actually don't need that bad. Some potions. Oh, how about we... Yeah, I don't want to fill up my inventory too much, so I'll just put one in my inventory and then, uh, oh, and a forceful valor. I've already got better weapons than that. But, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of loot you can find, all kinds of enemies to find. The dungeon's a pretty exciting place. Um, so there's all these little mechanisms and traps, uh, like the dart trap. you want to watch out for those, as I say, um, holding... Yeah, these casters are, are annoying. Oh, this seems like a good time to get another key, though, from that slime right there, presumably. I'm get myself killed playing like this. See, timing, timing. All right. Um, so did I get another key from that slime? Yes, I did. Yeah. You fire at me, I'll fire back. How's that? Alright, so I have another key. I can open another chest. And what's in it? More gold. Uh, more potions. Um, and yeah, I, m I made a point to uh, make some shine potions because obviously it's a lot easier to uh, tell where you're going. Well, there's a suspicious looking eye. Oh, nice. Cobalt Shield. This is an important item. It gives you immunity to knockback. Um, I don't think I need immunity to poison right now, so I'll unequip that Bezoar. Um, yeah, so immunity to knockback, so they're not, you know, bumping you around all the time. It's a unique item that I think can only be found in the dungeon. Um, so yeah, bring some potions with you. Shine potions you can make with uh, Daybloom, uh, bottled water, and... Uh, Oh, oh, and uh, what was the other one? <laughs> oh, glowing mushroom. Yeah, so day bloom, bottled water, glowing mushroom. You can make yourself some shine potions. It's a much easier way of getting around than having to place uh, torches all the time, or run around with glow sticks, or switch out, you know, what you're holding all the time. So definitely recommend that. Uh, bring some other potions with you as well. Lots of healing potions. Hey guys. Pew 
pew pew. All right, I kind of came from up there. As I say, I'm not. I, I made a map, but I'm not really following it because um, I don't think I have time to really show you the entire dungeon. But let's see, what else did I want to tell you about? Well, I told you about the mechanic NPC because I found her. Uh, I told you about the traps. Oh, speaking of traps. Oh, maybe I do need that immunity to poison. Turns out that poison is hurting me, so dart traps even in the dungeon do uh, poison you. Alright, uh, hmm. But what would I want to switch it with? That's the thing. Alright, maybe I'll just try to be more careful about the dart traps. Um, so that's why I equipped actually the dart trap there, so I can see where the wires are and thus where those traps are. There we go. First, there was two right there, so I still hit one, but you get the idea. Um, you can use either a dart trap or a pressure plate or a um, wrench or wire cutter. Those items you can buy from the mechanic, uh, which I already found, so um, probably you can wait to find the mechanic if you want to. Oh, it looks like I need yet another shine potion. That's why I brought plenty. Oh, oh, slimes. So the slimes you'll want to watch out for because you got your keys. Got another key. Okay, um, I, I did already pass another chest too, didn't I? I don't know where that went. Um, but you're going to want to watch out for those golden chests. Uh, there's dungeon chests as well. Uh, you're going to want to have a grappling hook. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble actually. Okay, there we go. Healing potion. Well-timed healing potion will do wonders. Oh, there's another biome chest. Um, and yeah, there's not really a lot in terms of, uh, you know, places for a respite in the dungeon. But, but, hmm, can he not get through there? All right, but um, you can actually build a house in the dungeon. And if you build a house in a dungeon with a bed and all that, um, the monsters actually won't spawn there. So I'm beginning to wonder if I should do that, but I don't want to take the time to you know, sit here building a house. Okay, the crabs are enemies too. But you can see why I brought my pew 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 gun. Um, and it's a good idea to have a weapon that can go through walls. I don't think my Medusa head can go through walls. No. Uh, Vile Thorn is recommended for that. Do I need... Oh, no, they can open that. Okay. I didn't open that. They did. I think they did. Anyway. Back, back, all of you back. Oh, right, of course there's a water candle here. So I was telling, telling you about that. Don't forget those tips. Oh, okay, that's the other thing. It's a skeleton... Uh... There we go. Skeleton statue, spawning skeletons. Watch out for that, too. Was that like a... Uh, yeah, I think that's actually a, like a switch for the door. Okay, well... Let's get rid of this as well. Hang from the ceiling like Batman, kill a bunch of these guys. Now, peaceful moment. What have I forgotten to tell you? Um, well, okay. So later in the game, after uh, you're in hard mode and after you defeat Plantera particularly, um, you'll find new enemies and uh, some those biome chests. That's when you can finally uh, open those biome chests. You'll need a special key, biome key for those as well. Uh, there's one for each major biome. Um, so those will give you some really special items. And uh, you'll have different enemies down here as well. You'll get different drops, different items from uh, killing the enemies. So don't forget to revisit the dungeon. And even after that, um, after you defeat the golem, which I believe is in the uh, jungle temple, uh, the lizard thing, um, then again you'll get the, the um, cultists. Oh. 
Really? Tungsten bars? I came all the way here for tungsten bars? Come on, guys. Alright, but I did get a, another golden key, so I can keep looking for better chests than that one. <laughs> and yeah, it's an interesting place, this dungeon. Um, I did clear out another little tip. Uh, I cleared out a lot of my inventory to make sure that I had room uh, for all the stuff that I was going to get from the dungeon. Okay, um, oh, traveling merchants here, that's not really my concern right at the moment. But the traveling merchant's a cool guy, you can get lots of stuff from him. Um, so yeah, have a, have something to show the wires. Um, a hunter potion, actually I should use that, there we go. Hunter potion, shows you where your enemies are. There's various potions, of course, that you can use, but uh, it's a good idea to have the ones that are going to be the most useful, like this Hunter Potion, so I can see where my enemies are. Shine Potion, so I can see where the heck I'm going. I'm sure there are more, but those ones are uh, certainly clearly helpful. Uh-oh, don't fall in the spikes. There's a tip, pro tip, don't fall in the spikes. Okay, well, I do have a couple of keys. Oh, time for another shine potion. There we go. Spelunker potion. That's a useful potion, by the way, although not so much for the jungle. Oh, what's this special key? Shadow key. Okay, so this is the biome key, actually, I think. I think that's the biome key for the uh, corruption. Not perfectly sure of that. Uh, but you can't actually use it, I don't think. Um, anyway, yeah, you can't actually use the... Uh, um, the biome keys until after you've uh, defeated Plantera, so that's why, uh, you know, they can have those out already, but uh, you can't actually use them. Yet. Oh, and here there's a dynamite in there. I'll add that to my sticky dynamite. And you can, of course, use uh, grenades and stuff to blow up these, I think. So there's some spikes. I'm going to blow them up. Pop. Did that work? Or am I just imagining? Do I need stronger stuff? Yeah, that, I think that worked. No, maybe that didn't work. Maybe a grenade doesn't destroy walls like heavier explosives, so let's try heavier explosives. There was something I was reading on the wiki, which I will link to, about uh, bringing um, bombs, dynamite. So let's try sticky bomb. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That blew up some of those spikes. Although notice it did not blow up the uh, walls here, because the walls here are strong. So yes, you can use uh, those things to blow up the spikes, clear your path. Dynamite might be a little unnecessary. But if you don't like walking on spikes, that's what your grenades are for. I, I definitely recommend sticky grenades or bombs. I just like to sticky all my explosives, personally. Which all you need is uh, some slime to do that. I guess I should destroy this water candle. I keep telling you that. And uh, you can use those uh, water candles uh, when you want more enemies. You can place those somewhere. You can hold on to them. You know, say it's... Uh, the blood moon and you don't think that's enough enemies for some reason or there's you know some area where you really want to get a particular drop and maybe it's a rare drop so you want lots of enemies so you can have a better chance of getting it sooner then uh, that's what the water candles for all right um i think this is a good time just to head back so i can take a break and actually tell you anything uh, that i didn't tell you about yet um 
just looking over my list, sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of unique furniture and mechanisms and traps, and of course the wire itself um, in the dungeon, which you might want to get. Uh, so bring your pickaxe, bring uh, maybe some wire cutters, uh, which you can get from the mechanic. Don't forget those. Um, wire is used to wire up all kinds of stuff as you progress in the game. Uh, and, you know, it's easier to get it for free. It's relatively expensive this early in the game. So uh, get that. Get your mechanisms. You can rig your whole place with dart traps if you want or whatever else. Um, and there's some unique furniture and stuff down there. Again, I'll link to the wiki. It'll tell you what's what's actually in the, the dungeon. Um, and yeah, watch for those water can candles. Uh, switch to your dart trap pressure plate wrench or wire cutter to show you where the traps are with the wires, uh, like your dart traps and your whatnot. Uh, bring your potion, shine potion, hunter potion particularly. And one of the things that's uh, unique to the dungeon, uh, when you first get to the dungeon, um, you can produce necro armor. And actually, yeah, I think, do I have enough to do that? Yeah, I do. Well, I have enough of those. I should have some cobwebs around here, so I can actually show you that. Um, let's see, I've got all these chests, and somewhere in here I have a whole bunch of cobwebs. Of course, you can see I nearly filled my inventory up just with that little run. Um, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. Yeah, so cobwebs and bones. You need actually 135 cobwebs and 150 bones to make the full set of necro armor. Um, actually, why don't I, though, make some space so that I can put the necro or put my current armor back in my inventory after I'm done making the necro armor? One moment. Don't need a lot of space, so there we go. That should do. Um, so I should be able to go over here. Uh, where do I craft it? I'm not sure the crafting station. You can look that up, but I've got all this stuff around me. I've got my workbench, my furnace, my anvil, uh, and my table. And it's probably just the workbench because it's not metal, right? So you shouldn't be the anvil, but maybe it's the anvil. It's usually it's either the workbench or the anvil. Um, so here we go. Necro helmet. Necro breastplate and Necro greaves. And now I look scary. <laughs> but besides just looking scary, uh, this is actually a ranged uh, armor set. Oh, and you can see I, I got that uh, shield, the cobalt shield, and because I have it equipped, that's showing here as well. And you can see because I have the full set, I've got my cool little trail effect going on here. Um, but anyway, the point of this set is that it's a ranged armor set. It actually gives you a 20% chance to not consume ammo if you have the whole set, as you can see there. Um, and each of these components gives you 5% increased range damage. It's a total of 16 uh, defense, which is the same actually as my meteorite armor. Um, so instead of, you know, free pew 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 and... Uh, slight magic damage increase that I had there. This is a 20% chance to not consume ammo and a total of 15% increased range damage. So this is a good set if you're using guns, which of course, uh, when you get to a certain point in the game, you will be probably more likely. Um, there you go. So there's the necro set. And uh, I think I've told you basically everything I intended to tell you, so I'll leave it there. Um, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to stash some of this stuff in my inventory. Um, and, you know, you can make multiple trips, of course. Uh, certainly keep an eye on where those chests are. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If, so please subscribe. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. I uh, hope you like this one. Let me know if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, anything you want to see. And uh, I guess for now, we'll leave it there. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.